Let's stop in front. Woo! Yeah. As you can tell from my name, my name is Fritz Pierre. I'm obviously not from around here. I come from a very far away, violent, impoverished land. Uh, Pine Hills, I think they call it. I think. <laughs> I think. Are you guys familiar with that? Pine Hills at all? I, I got to tell you, it's kind of rough living in Pine Hills when you look the way I look and you talk the way I talk. Like, I feel like I look like I work at the Gap and I snitch on black people. Like, I think, I think that's a vibe I give off. I'm like, he's stealing. And my boss is like, Fritz, that's a reflection of you. What are you doing? That's, you're fired. I don't know. Pine Hills is a, it's, it's an all right place to live. Uh, it's got its ups and downs. One thing I'll say about Pine Hills is that it's really easy to get drugs. So easy. Oh my God. Like, like, all right, here's the thing. Every time I leave my house, there's this is one dude. He's trying to sell me weed. I know he's trying to sell me weed because of his sales pitch. He looks at me, he's like, bruh, I got that green, bruh. Yo, nigga. I got that green. He's like, yo, nigga. I got that green. And I got to stop him, like, dude, first off, you're Chinese. I don't feel comfortable with you. Uh, <laughs> call me the N word this many times. And I'll take an eighth of marijuana. I'll take an eighth. I just didn't <laughs> hear you the first time. I'm not going to let racial slurs stop me from having fun. I'm pretty sure that's a direct quote from Martin Luther King. <laughs> I'm going to keep smoking this sticky icky. And that was a shitty impersonation of Martin Luther King. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think, how can I pander to this crowd? Uh, give a round of applause for black people, everybody. Give a round of applause <laughs> for black people. Thank you. It's mandatory. You have to. Uh, I, <laughs> I personally enjoy being black, but it doesn't come without its pros and cons, obviously. The cons is obviously like systematic racism, and you have a higher chance of being murdered by the police, those are all terrible things, depending on how you feel. Uh, I don't know you, but the pro is, and I'll say this, whenever you go to the Florida Mall, the people at the kiosk never try to sell you shit, and <laughs> it's, also, it's so weird. Even if you dress like a black guy that enjoys scented candles and bath bombs, which is what I, I feel like I, is my look I'm going for. One time I was walking in Pine Hills and this dude just said to me, he was like, bro, really? You look like an intern for the Golf Channel. <laughs> and I was like, thank you, that sounds wonderful. That's, that's an amazing internship. I would be blessed <laughs> to have that. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I dress the way I do to make like white people comfortable. I have a lot of white friends, naturally. I have a... I have a whole bunch of white friends. I could hang around this place called the Milk District. It's like where a bunch of hipsters hang out at. Yeah, you familiar with that? Yeah. I get that same response whenever I walk in there. It's just like, whoa, whoa, he's here. We're safe. He's good. Oh, yeah. Like, I've got this shirt by his band called Dinosaur Jr. I don't know shit about Dinosaur Jr. I do know that white people love it when I wear that shirt. They become my friends immediately. It's like some indie hipster band or whatever. So I wear it. I get all kinds of compliments. They say things like, dude, I love that band. You're one of the good ones. Like, I don't know how, how I feel about that. Is that a compliment? I mean, I take it as a compliment because they invite me to the home. We break bread. We find out, you know, race relations in this country are so bad, and they shouldn't be that way. And then I rob them at gunpoint. It's amazing. <laughs> I own so many shirts like this. It's crazy. I didn't know why people had all kinds of juices, either. <laughs> like, I'll go back to Pine Hills, and I'm just like, nigga, nigga. I got that pomegranate juice, nigga, come on. It's rich in antioxidants. <laughs> I don't sell, I don't sell a lot. Looking at the notes, because I'm cheating. Other things, I, uh, I'm gonna go on a, a limb here. I. Uh, I used to work at a Wendy's, because life comes at you fast, you know, you know what happens to you. One day, one day you're making some kid a Frosty, and you say to yourself, what happened to me, man? I used to take AP Lit, what the fuck? I'm here now. 
Now I'm standing in this Wendy's, I got a, a name tag that says Trash Fritz on it. What the fuck? <laughs> and, and I used to work with this guy. He used to tell me to be happy to work at Wendy's. He said, yo, you work at Wendy's? Be excited. You got a job, man. You got a job. Be happy. And I was like, happiness? That's a weird emotion for Wendy's. <laughs> like, imagine if you went to your local McDonald's and you started cashing your smile. Wouldn't you think, yo, does this motherfucker not know his life sucks? Why is he so happy right now? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a Wendy's. Uh... I don't know, man. I told that guy I didn't want to be happy to be working there. Like, yo, it's a terrible job. Why are you so happy? Like, yo, did you just walk into your first day of work and you flipped your first patty and you were like, nigga, we made it. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty we were free at last. Which would be a weird thing for a white person to say. <laughs> I would say. But I allowed it. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I told this guy that I hated him and I hated the job and he is a piece of shit and he wasted his life and he got really depressed. I felt bad. I was like, dude, I'm sorry. You got so much left in your life, man. You get yourself a job by like working at like five guys at Chipotle or something. Like, yo, you got time left. And um, he's actually doing a lot better now. He uh, killed himself recently. <laughs> yeah. Finally pulled that trigger. I like to think that he made it to heaven and he sees, you know, St. Peter and St. Peter's like, welcome my son to eternal paradise that is heaven. And he's like, wow, I can't believe I made it here. And St. Peter's like, yeah, man. Here's your headset and spatula. We're going to need you on fries real quick. Uh, <laughs> you know why you're here. <laughs> One more joke, and I'm going to get out of here real quick. Uh, this is just a true thing that happened to me. It's about my father. He uh, passed away tragically in a car accident in my senior year of high school. Uh, that was a tough time in my life because I was supposed to get that car for graduation. So... <laughs> Guess what I'm saying is, cherish your possessions, folks. All right, it's before it's too late. Good night, everybody.